Pat Olson alongside USF Don's head coach Nino Giratano as the uh, Santa Barbara Gauchos win the series. They take game three here today, 11-1. to one. Coach, just a, a game that kind of got away from you a little bit. They had that big eight-run inning and uh, kind of put it away in the sixth inning there. Yeah, for sure. You know, we didn't we didn't play real good from the start of the game. We made an error to start the game, and, and we gave up a run, which wasn't devastating. And then we came back, back-to-back -back base hits to tie it 1-1. Didn't do a good job moving a runner and taking the lead 2-1. And then, uh, you know, it's a 3-1 game. It's a manageable game. And then we just, the wheels just kind of fell off right there. You know, hit by pitch, catcher throws the ball up off the line. We don't catch a ground ball. We don't catch another ground ball. We gave up three or four base hits. Uh, then the bullpen comes in, and it was just sloppy. Give up eight runs right there is uh, not what we wanted. But, you know, I think when you look back at the series, the series is a difference of maybe one inning that differentiates the series. If we, if we play better in the eighth inning on Friday, we got a chance to win two out of three. If we do a better job there today, we, we got a chance to win two out of three. But, uh, you know, we come away with one win, which is disappointing at home, but uh, we got to get better. We got to get better all the way through, and uh, we got to figure out how to pitch a little bit better, uh, especially on Sunday. You guys scored just the one run here today, but you had some opportunities. You had runners on base almost every inning. Oh, we had n numerous opportunities. Just uh, couldn't put the ball in play. Could, couldn't put the ball in play the whole series. I think that's a problem for us right now. We got to do a better job of, of getting to the ball and putting it in play with runners in scoring position. And uh, we'll, we'll make some adjustments. But the, you know, the, this is a pretty good team. This team's going to have a chance to be successful, uh, be competitive. We got to get a few guys going. We got we got to get some things figured out. But all in all, it's this this is a good ball club. Tell us about the young man Cosgrove. That was a concern, a hit by pitch. It looked like it just kind of came in right underneath the helmet there, and I, I just saw him over in the tunnel, and uh, he looks pretty bruised up. Yeah, you know, really scary when the ball doesn't catch the helmet and you can't hear it. And You know, he's a tough kid, but, uh, you know, it could be some time before he's back ready to play. That that ball caught him pretty, pretty flush, and, you know, he's pretty swollen up, and I know he's going to be sore, but... You know, he's a tough guy. He'll battle back. Hopefully, we'll get him back as soon as possible. And in the meantime, uh, you know, I just I just hope he stays healthy. You've got uh, UC Davis Tuesday up there. Uh, always good uh, ball games when you go up against the Aggies. What do you expect to up at uh, their ballpark? Oh, yeah. You know, Tuesdays are tough. The, you win or lose on these Tuesdays because your pitching is a little banged up from the weekend, especially a weekend like this where we extended a lot of guys. So, you know, we've got to get our pitching squared away for Tuesday. Offensively, we got to we got to do a better job. Defensively, we got to do a way better job. So, uh, looking to bounce back, get to two and two, and then we'll go from there. All right, Coach. Best of luck up at Davis, and we'll see you here next weekend for the uh, four gamer against Utah Valley. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. All right, that's uh, Nino Giratano again. The uh, Gauchos win the ball game, 11 to one. They take the series, two games to one. Don's off to Davis on Tuesday with Nino Giratano, Pat Olson on USFDons.com.